Good morning, welcome back to yet another review. And today we have some arrows and they are from Habiburaman Albuntari. We had already some really nice arrows from him. And he sent me new ones. Let's unbox them and see what we get. Oy, oy, oy. Packed well. Here a nice tube and uh -oh. decoration. Look at this. What you get now from Habiburaman? Look at this. And that's pretty. Look at this. Huh. Oh, it smells still like paint. Wow. So they're really here yeah, tight in it. Look at this. Four fledged small feathers. Self nook reinforced. And then this beautiful painting there. And normal nooks. Wow. So. They are supposed to be spined 50 pounds, but we get to this in a second. I will take three, shoot three, and I keep the others. Because they're really pretty. So, one, two, three. Ah, this is the work of an artist. Really nice. So, and here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's already open here. Okay. We <laughs> so you have the three yellow. Look at this. It looks like bamboo, but it's not bamboo. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? Look at this. <laughs> they look like green bamboo. Nice. Self knock again, same tips. And you have a little distance here that you can do your thumb release. Really pretty. Three of them. And we have, we look at this. It's, <coughs> it's not my color, but beautiful. This is artwork is really beautiful. Holy cow. Wow, nice. So three arrows of the same kind. Really nice, thank you very much. Happy Puraman. This one's go away again. So now let's see what we get. Let's measure them first, huh? Maybe we do something useful today. I guess they're all the same length. Oh, right? uh, kind of yeah, the green ones are a tiny bit short. So we have a length of Oh, my tape, 27 inches, a bit short for me. The fake bamboo is 27. And the green ones are a little bit longer. No, not even, they're even shorter. 26 and a half. So these arrows are really nice, Happy Puraman, but 26, 27 inches is nothing for me. So I need at least 28, better 30 or 32 inch arrows next time. But they're really nice. So I don't know with which bow I shall use them now because my draw is a little longer, but we simply shoot them and we go from there. Let's quickly check what we always have to check. Thank you, Danny, for letting me use it ding put arrow so the pink white ones are something i wish you could make this display a little bigger 
you know, not everybody has a good eyesight anymore. 494 grain, that's not bad. 490 grain, and we have a spine of 45 pounds, okay. The fake bamboo ones. 502, so all the similar. Forty-two pounds, and these pretty ones here, a bit shorter, so they should be a bit more lightweight. Four hundred ninety grain. I like this machinery. Forty-one pounds. This is what you get, folks. Now we shoot them. <laughs> Spined 42, 45 pounds, and this is a 38 pound bow. Let's see what they are doing. Nice. It's simply too short for me, you see that? I don't even reach any kind of anchor point, but the arrows fly nice. <laughs> they look pretty. Look at this bamboo ones here. <laughs> it goes through the hay. Nice. And the four fledged ones. Arrows fly really nice and they look beautiful, very good. 20 meters with a split screen because you like it so much. Yeah, once you get the feel for it, it's fine. It's simply too short draw, I have no anchor, nothing. So they are not very forgiving, you really need to know what you're doing. But then it works, see? <laughs> uh, by the way, this is this Assyrian bow, which I got from Samuel Archery. Let's see on a 30 meter target, the pink ones. A little wobbly, but that was me. Oh, it's so tricky it's not throwing for. I think it would be better to shoot them three fingers. Huh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Three fingers would be easier. I go quite to the left, so a little too stiff. No. Oh, Can't shoot three fingers anymore. So we shoot them really again. Oh. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. Not the right bow for the zeros. Yeah, but you get there.
how would how would these arrows work for this way of shooting with the wood knocks? No idea. There you go. You get there. Mm -hmm. It's only you ruin the fletchings when you do this. But yeah. for the purpose of testing them. Oh, we go to the right a bit more. Yeah. yeah. You can make it work, it's no problem. But of course, as I said, you could hold them like this. Shoot three fingers, or you could hold them like this. So it's all no problem. Maybe not with this bow. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see this one again. There you have it, beautiful arrows, simply too short for me, Habibur Rahman, but the craftsmanship and the artwork, look at these ones, these bamboo ones here, they look very pretty, and it's, I show you close-ups, and of course the four-fledged ones, they are just incredible really nice they fly good you need to find the right bow for it or you order the right arrows for your bow not the problem and then what you get here is this one came off so i need to glue it back you get here this nice really pretty case it's really nice and then you can put your arrows back there look at this so so, 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 they're almost too, oops, too pretty to be shot, so, but on the other side, you get arrows to shoot, so, look at this, then you have them in there, really, really nice, dink, dink, and you're ready to go, awesome, so, Thank you very much, Habibur Rahman, for sending these arrows to me. Shipping was a little expensive and customs, of course, I had to pay, but this is what you get. Cool arrows. So if you like really decorative stuff, check him out. And that's all for me today. Oh, sun is coming out already. It's not even eight o'clock. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.